We've just about got it, don't you think? There's just a few minor things, like putting the bones into their final position. The massiveness of it. And just imagine coming face to face with something like that in the woods, huh? We're pretty much ready to start sending stuff up to the printer. At this point, I think Bigfoot's going to become uh, a lot closer to reality. The 3D print process, using products and technology manufactured by Stratasys, ended up taking 1,600 hours. All in all, 1,000 cubic inches of plastic parts were fused together to make Dr. Meldrum's eight and a half foot tall Bigfoot skeleton. Fully fleshed out with muscles, skin, fur, and all its anatomical parts, a real Sasquatch like this would be gigantic, weighing in at half a ton. While what equates to Meldrum's life's work was being assembled, I got a hint of what was to come. You want to see the hand? Yes, yeah. So this is the left hand. This took about 18 hours to print. How does 3D printing work? And one example I always use is it's like stacking pieces of paper on top of each other until you get a whole ream of paper. As you look at the bottom, it has this black material. The black material gets laid first. It's a dissolvable material. That allows us to get rid of all that and leave us with the complete model. Oh, it right there on top. Yep. I have one printed wow. over here. Wow. That is something. I mean, it's just amazing, the difference. It is just so huge. A single finger, you know, one element of that finger is so large. It's just amazing. How could this help us understand, like, how to catch Bigfoot? I think this exercise will point us to some specific aspects of the anatomy related to the natural history of this species. We got something! This is uh, actually 16 inches long, so that implies a creature at least eight feet tall. These aren't cut with a saw or an axe. 